Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with our one and only personal break this evening and we're going to be cracking on into two booster boxes of Y Shorts Data Bullets Extra Booster for Leonard B from Hawaii. So thank you so much Leonard for letting me open up some more Data Bullet for you here on the channel and I hope to find you some awesome cards to add to your collection. Now it's been quite some time since we've opened up Data Bullets. We did have one extra booster box this weekend also for Leonard during the Allie's birthday weekend stream. Otherwise, it has been definitely quite some time. We've had this set in stock for a long time, but we are coming to the end. Just two more boxes remain from the case after this one, and I really don't know what remains. I remember we saw Kurumi SP in a recorded box opening not super long ago. Otherwise, I cannot remember what we are hunting over frame rare wise or SP wise in these remaining boxes. Just hoping to find some beautiful Kurumi cards and some other really neat stuff here for Leonard. So, Let's go ahead and get started by snapping us into the corner. And I know Bushiro did announce the second Data Live regular booster set to come out next year. Hasn't got up for pre-order yet. I've been checking every day since they mentioned it. It's going to be like season two and season three cards in one set, just like the Japanese release. So that should be exciting next year. I don't know much about the Dates Alive series aside from just the, the regular set cards and then the data bullet that we've checked out. Uh, what I can tell is they're all kind of crazy, especially Kudumi. And I've seen some different characters that'll be featured in that other set. So curious to learn more about those. But man, Shido's life is interesting. <laughs> Shido's life is interesting. All right, here we go. Pack number one, lots of foils in the extra boosters. So let's see what we can find. We have rare visitor, Kurumi, and double R foil, Lucy Fugus, Queen. We have common foil, shadow that should not exist, Kurumi. The extra boosters, I actually really enjoy checking them out. So, you know, they're like a bite sized booster box, you know, just the six pack. So they're cheaper than a full box. But you get a lot less cards by nature of the boxes being smaller, of course. You do find more foils. So I love looking at these cards. Double R, Spirit and White, Queen. Then we have Brief Truce, Hibiki, and Penetrating Bullet, Kurumi. I like that little cat. That cat's featured on several cards with Kurumi in the set. Why does she have a cat? I mean, it's cute. But this set does a really good job of being like, oh, Kurumi's so cute. So then, like, there's one card where she's just holding somebody up at gunpoint. It's like, ah, there's the uh, Kurumi that we know. There she is. Yeah, there she is. Clashing Emotions, rare. New Story, Kurumi and Hibiki, foil. Yeah, no questions asked. You know what I mean? Like, there we go. Like, that. yeah, uh, okay, back back to normal, back to normal. You know, it's like, oh, cute, what's going on here? Ah, crazy, that's that's what's going on. <laughs> I do enjoy these, though. One set that, well, not one set, actually three sets, that went up for order today, but it doesn't show me what the case count is, so I don't know how much to order, but the power-up sets, uh, Boucherud announced, it's interesting, because they're many, many years late, but the Log Horizon, oh, Visitor, uh, Visitor Kirimi Foil, rare. Log Horizon, the Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya, and, or Haruhi, whatever. And uh, Kill a Kill, that's what it was. I always had to go check what it was. I still have the tab open. But those went up for pre-order today, and I I have to Google how many ca how many boxes are in, an, in a power-up set case, because I don't know how in demand those will be just because the sets the original sets are older bots would like to check those out when they release so i need to do some research on that still waiting on the data live set to pop up for pre-order and i see people have it in hand but uh southern hobby i've never put up the uh, regular bunny girl set reprint so i don't know if we're just gonna miss that or what but double r zaf gil kirumi doll master panier and white space queen to wrap off box number one all right, moving into the second and final box here today for Leonard. Curious to see what's in these remaining boxes. Like I said, it's been a while, aside from the one box this weekend, since we've opened up Data Bullets. So I really, really love the art style for this set. Very different from the first sets for Data Live. I'm assuming the Data Bullets animation is much more new because it does look like a more modern animation style, whereas I feel like you can tell that the Data Live cards, it looks like a 20, like early 2010s anime. 
Not that that's a bad thing, it's just that art style and animation style. Whereas this looks very recent. Uh, copyright date on the cards is 2020, so that would that would make sense. <laughs> Two years old. Uh, very modern art style. Very cute though, I like it. I'm very curious to see what the regular Data Live Volume 2 cards look like. Girl Entwined with Nightmares, Kurumi Double R. Blissful Days, Sawa. And Lonely World, Queen. We have Double R Spirit in Black, Kurumi. Aleph, Kurumi Uncommon. And In Recollections, Isami, Common Foil. Dullmaster Uncommon. Predetermined Conclusion, Rare. Clashing Emotions, Rare Foil. And Unfading Memories, Kurumi. Noticing also some of the rare foils do have different images than the original card. I always love it when foils look different. So I do like that. As someone that just collects like sets of whites, I could play, but more of a collector than a card game player myself. You guys know that. So if you've been on the channel watching some videos before, I primarily collect. So I like it when there's just more, more things to look at. So I always appreciate it when the images are different. All right, we're still waiting on some sort of double R foil or higher foil rarity in this box. Just two packs remain. Yeah, Confrontation of Black and White, rare. And double R foil, Nightmare or Queen, Kunumi. Love the texture on this card. This is just the regular double R foil, but it feels so nice. I guess that's Queen back there. Uh, but around the foiling in this, I guess, church. It's an interesting location. Uh, it does have a really, really awesome texture. The card feels so cool. Traces of a best friend, queen, and last pack. Let's see, last pack here. Brief Truce Hibiki Uncommon and holding at gunpoint, Kurumi. Like I said, unhinged. Very pretty though. It's one of those like, ah, don't, don't go for crazy, but it's hard not to. Look at her. She is adorable when she's not trying to kill us or kill everybody or eat people for their time. Is what you guys let me know. That's her ability. That's why she has the clock in her eye. These spirits, man. These spirits are something else. That's why I'm curious to learn about the, the spirits that were not included in Season 1. Uh, but anyways, here for the Leonard. <laughs> Does wrap off the opening. No overframe, no SP. Bots, lots of beautiful cards, which is what we set out to find. So let's take a look at our double R foils. One per box. We have Lucifugus, Queen. And Nightmare or Queen, Kudumi. We did have several foil rares. New story, visitor, clashing emotions, and original appearance. Then for our non-foil double R's, did have two per box. Spirit and White Queen, Spirit and Black Kurumi. I love how those cards go together. Then we had the Girl and Twine with Nightmares, which is the pack and box arts, and Zafkiel Kurumi, which seems to be one of the most popular Kurumi cards. But with that, that does wrap off this opening. And I'm gonna go ahead and sleeve up our double R foils since they are one per box. But thank you so much, Leonard, for letting me open up some more data bullet for you. Really hope you enjoyed the opening and love these new additions to your collection. Ah, I really like this set. This set was a lot of fun. It is coming to a close. Like I said, just two boxes left. That's it. No more in storage. I've been poking around trying to see if there's any other Weiss products I can restock. Boss Man found like a master case of Rented Girlfriend today. So we still have lots of rent to girlfriend. But yes, getting it very, very close to the end here on Data Bullets. Well, that, that does wrap off our one and only opening here today. A shorter video. But tomorrow's upload will be quite longer. You guys have been so generous sending so many packages for me to unbox tomorrow for my birthday mail special. So I expect that one. I don't know if it'll be a new record setter for a length of a mail special, but I think it's going to... I think it's going to be pretty lengthy. There's still new packages arriving every day. You guys are insane. And I'm very curious and excited to check that out tomorrow. But for today, that does wrap things on off. So I hope that you all enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. Comments for me, drop those down below. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, I'd love for you to join us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, before I get on out of here, I do have to give an extra special shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond with your supports. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. We do have seven Black Label fans. 
Handon, Bounty Hunter Breaks, Devon, Kira Soltari, MT, Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also do have nine Gem Mint fans. Bamboo, Butch Corby, Geriatric Geek, Jonathan Scott, Michael C., Michael Bigelow, Scorecard Collectibles, Shinef Zen, and Vanek. But thank you so much again, though, to all of our channel members. And all members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every video. But like I said, that does it for me here tonight. If you guys have any advice on how much of the power upsets to order, let me know. Let me know. You know, sometimes I order the right amount. Sometimes I don't order enough. Sometimes I order too much, you know. So. Especially those sets are like almost 10 years old. I don't know. <laughs> I'm assuming we'll get reprints to the regular boosters. Otherwise, it's a super awkward release. Like, yes, this is cool. But no one plays these decks anymore because the cards are ancient. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how things go. But anyways, that wraps off this video, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, stay safe, and hope you all join me in the next one. Bye.